All right, welcome to a brand new video. We are checking out a brand new demo called Five Nights at Frick Bears 3. I will get through as much as I can on the demo, but if you want to see the full demo, I will leave a link in the description to another channel that did get through the full demo. I will get as far as I can. That, I promise. I thought it was time for another FNAF fan game, so let's go. New game. Uh, select your net guard. Recommended for new players unfamiliar with the FNAF formula or just looking for a relatively stress-free experience. Alright, so it looks like there are a couple different... We have Mike. And we have... We'll go... Let's go Jeremy first and then go from there. Hello there, my name's Jeremy. Jeremy Fitzgerald. Hello, Jeremy. Now, you may be wondering, gosh, Jeremy, what's a fella like you doing working at a place like this? Well, it's quite simple, really. <laughs> my tuition won't pay for itself, so I figured it was the perfect time to get a summer job. Well, another summer job. The last couple never seemed to end well. First, there was a the time that old lady's nails almost fucked my eye out. And that time I spilled that scolding hot coffee all over my face. Looked like... Then that mishap with the knives, that was a close one. <laughs> that one time the car I was chauffeuring got hijacked. And that accident I got into during that other chauffeuring job that sent me hurling through the windshield towards the old lady. Who was carrying a big tray of hot coffee and knives. But on the bright side, my time in the hospital gave me plenty of time to send out applications and wouldn't you know it, this one got accepted. I'm confident that this will finally be the one a kitty pizza place is just about as safe as it gets after all. And hey, you know, what they say, 13 times a charm. Alright, what am I doing standing out here in the rain? There's mascots to be monitored. Okay, night one. Survive till 6 a.m. I don't know what I'm doing. So what's going on? What do we got? A W S D. Oh, flashlight. Hello? Hello, hello? Hey, I hope Left this message finds you well. Cams. Now I've got a salvaging job in the morning, and I imagine you got a long night ahead of you. So for both of our sakes, I'll try to make this brief. First and foremost, your job. What's the fan? Sure, your oh, manager fan already went over this, X. but wouldn't hurt to cover it again. Fan so you, as the night watchman here, have two duties. Keeping intruders out, and keeping all our equipment in here safe. Most notable of which, of course, being our animatronic band. You see, the animatronic characters here, you may notice they tend to move around at night. Don't fret, it's completely normal. Even animatronics need that exercise. Flashlight. Stops their mechanisms Mask. from locking up when they need to perform in the morning. and Saves our maintenance crew a lot of hassle. Now, that normally wouldn't be an issue for you, but our animatronics, well, they also have a tendency to wander to parts of the building they aren't supposed to be in, which might also include your office. Because of that, you'll want to keep an eye on them with your cameras. Just make sure they aren't straying too far away from their intended areas. Uh, and if one reaches the doorway to your office, it might be a good idea to close either of those handy mechanical doors. There should be one on both sides of your office. They're still there. Uh, almost any animatronic. There's so many buttons. For the thunk, and the animatronic should go right Flash back to their stage. Z. Only close them if you absolutely need to, Excess though. That'll fan. drain power, and power isn't something you've got a lot of. And I say almost every animatronic, because there is one that's a little special, though it isn't hard Sonary to deal left. with. Just click that reset music button on the entrance camera every once in a while, and it should leave you be. Now, if you're wondering why a place like this needs heavy-duty mechanical doors, or what all these other tools you have at your disposal are, my answer to both these questions is, don't worry about it. You probably won't need to use them tonight Hello. anyway. We just want to make sure our guards are safe and have the means to defend themselves against any threat that comes their way. I do like, you know, burglars, dandles, those kind of threats. Other than that, the only thing you really have to worry about is your temperature. AC shots, so you have to rely on your fan. Just turn it on every so often, it should cool you right back down. Just don't leave it on for too long, it drains power too. Oh yeah, and while all you should really need tonight are the cameras and doors, feel free to flip through the different systems on your monitor and try out some of the other tools just to get a feel for them too. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. 
Now, I think that's everything. I'm forgetting about something. Oh. No, no, I'm not sure that's... What the... Where does he go after that? Oh, he's back on stage. Okay. I started to remember the cameras. Or the doors. Oh. Put that temperature down. Where's everyone at? They still there? They're still there. Be nice to me tonight. Oh, he's already walking. Where's he at? Oh, he's there. He's still there. go back up? He did. Oh, Chica's gone. Oh, hello. So you're this one. Oh. God, there's too much going on. Where's I heard you out there, Fred Bear. Where are you, Freddy? Oh, hello. Oh my God. Noises. Where is he? Maybe. Oh. I should have waited. Ooh, who's gonna come first? A or D? Should still be back up there. Okay, Fred Bear left. I'm listening for his laugh this time. Welcome back. Oh, you're there. Hello. Oh, oh, you both left. Oh, you're all out. Seriously. Shit. 
You're back up. <laughs> I didn't know who was coming. <laughs> that was close. That was really close. Phew, what a night. Those robots are definitely a lot scary up close. But all that's all be... What? Oh? Hey, is this stupid thing on? Hey, Stooge, great work tonight or whatever. Big news, your good-for-nothing co-worker isn't picking up his calls, so it's like... Oh, it looks like you get to work overtime. Overtime? Uh, sure. I guess I could do that. What do you need? Go to the address I sent you. Some chump will explain the rest when you get there. Good luck or whatever. You got it, boss. Get there. I wonder what you can need over there. I have no idea. What? Well, gosh. Look who it is. I was wondering when he'd show up. What? Ahem. Down here. Oh, hello. Welcome. You're the new hire, aren't you? You can call me your psychic friend, Fred Fredbear. I'm here to help you on your salvaging duties. Oh, you seem a little confused. Don't worry. I'll explain. You see, the company's been a tad short-handed lately because of that. Some employees have had to double up on duties. And thanks to that, you not only have the honor of being our one and only security guard, but our one and only salvager as well. Doesn't that make you feel special? Your job here is real simple. Investigate these abandoned locations, find the animatronic, and bring it back when you, uh, with you for spare parts. Oh, and don't worry, the animatronics here should all be friendly. Just try t talking to them. They'd love a new place to stay. Once they're back at your location and learn what they're planning on using them for, though, I'm not sure. Either way, you might as well get it. Uh, feel free to come back here and talk to me once you're ready to leave. Good luck. Okay. Um, oh, Jesus, let me just quit. Investigate. There's a room on the other side of these boards. But with no way to break them down, it seems. Oh, there's no way. Hello. Gosh, I move really fast, don't I? Oh my god, I move so fast. Nothing. Nothing's in here. What is that? I don't want to go down there. Oh, appears to be a game cartridge atop this shelf. Got Chica's Feeding Frenzy. Oh, looks like you found yourself a game cartridge. Take that back with you to the office. You should be able to plug it and play a new minigame. Seems these button doors no longer function. You're incredibly lucky. None of the animatronics here want to kill you. <laughs> Hola. That's all I know. Oh, what? No. What? Hem. My apologies. Looking for animatronics to salvage? You should take me. I'm bilingual. I'm a rabbit and my guitar skills are second to none. Well, they're... Uh, they were before I lost the other arm and least. But two for one ain't bad, eh? Um... Sure. Withered Bonnie. It makes one, you can head back to the entrance now. Cool. Wait. 
So, no, let's go this way. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's this? Oh, yeah, I already know that. I want to see what this is. So animatronic seems to have something clenched between its hands. Wait. Was this thing always here? I could try to pry it, pulling from them, but that seems ill-advised. Do it anyway? Go to the exit. Ew, quietly. I don't think I could get there quietly. I think one's coming for me. I made it. Look at that. Ooh, night two might not be as good. That might just be. Yep. Okay. Uh, hi. Thanks. Hi. Uh, sorry. The guy that called you last night can't quite get back to you. He got into a pretty. A nasty accident with the office locker right when you finished recording your message. Uh, apparently the animatronics filled up with the heaviest stuff they could find and the thing just tipped right over onto him. It's it's still lying there. I think he still may be in it, actually. I have no idea where they managed to find that many left. blocks of pure tungsten in it, but you know Freddy and the gang, they're some real kidders. <laughs> That aside, I heard you made some salvages last night. That's good, that's good. Uh, I don't really know how those ones work, not my jurisdiction, so I guess it's up to you to figure that out. Uh, other than that, we've been noticing some strange new behavior of some of the animatronics, namely, uh, they really like getting into our vent system now. Uh, if you switch to the vent setting on your monitor and see one just crawling around up there, it might be a good idea to set an audio alert nearby to pull it away from your office. Now, if one does get into your office, don't worry. Just try throwing on that spare Freddy head for a bit until they go away. Usually fools them pretty easily. That should be it. Um, I'm actually coming up on oh, the shit. end of my shift here. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to recklessly meander my way over towards the exit door. I hear you. Someone else. Oh, you're there. Who's there? Oh, fence. Ready. I don't know where they're at. I was gonna look at the games. Dang, I forgot to look at the game. It's fine. I can't tell what side. going on.
Oh, dang it. Wrong side. I gotta see what side Fredbear's on. He's on that side, okay. Shit. Oh shit. Hold on. Where's everybody? Oh! <laughs> Fox came for me. Uh, looks like somebody's outside. Pardon me, but are you the night watchman at this location? Sheesh, this guy looks like he's been roughed up real bad. Though I suppose I'm not one to judge. <laughs> yep, that's me. And you are? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Michael. Nice to meet you. Jeremy, it's a pleasure. For as a scary looking as he is, he's at least got good manners. <laughs> Pardon my sudden appearance. It's just that there was something I wished to ask of you. Well, whatever you need, I'd be happy to help. What's up? Do you recognize this? Out from his dingy sweater, Michael presents something familiar. Uh, it's that pretty mask you pried from the puppet's hands last night. Oh, I didn't know you had one of those too. Pretty cool, huh? I found one myself last night. Yes, I know. This is the one you found last night. Oh, neat. Regardless, I just couldn't help but wonder what use you would have for something like this, knowing the hoops you must have jumped through to get it. I just thought it looked important. If you really need it, I wouldn't mind letting you have it. Though, why do you need it, anyway? Ah, right then. I suppose I never did explain myself, did I? You see, as for myself, I suppose you could say I have... A loose end or two to tie up, a bit of a personal score to settle. And in order to do so, I need these masks, all four of them. Oh, 
Are you hosting some sort of Halloween party? <laughs> sure, I suppose you could call it that. You intend to continue visiting the other abandoned Freddy's locations as you have been already. You should quickly find the rest. I simply ask that you continue to collect them all and bring them to me. Well, I suppose I could, especially if they'd help you out. Though, if I do, I'll have to deal with those scary robots again. Yes, unfortunately so. The endoskeletons are very protective. Though, if you do choose to collect them regardless, know that you'd be making an old friend of mine very, very happy. I trust you to make the right decision. And just as suddenly as he appeared, the mysterious hooded man disappeared into the darkness. Strange guy. <laughs> oh, right. I gotta get going. There's salvages to be made. Oh, my nightly wages. Congratulations on surviving your first two nights. As a reward for beating the game on easy difficulty or higher, you've unlocked Toy Bonnie. Additionally, for successfully escaping with the Freddy mask and meeting Michael, you've unlocked Shadow Freddy. Even though the game ends here, there may be more secrets to uncover on an additional playthrough. You might want to try a higher difficulty level or investigate that abandoned location a little bit more next time around. But that aside, thank you for playing and I hope you had fun. All right, we're gonna go. Oh, there is a custom night. We're not gonna go custom night. Let's go new game. Let's go Mike. And check it out. And I think this will be it for now. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the playthrough that the other channel has. That way if you wanna see the entire playthrough, you can, you can check it out. And then I'll, again, I'll leave a link in the description for this game so you can check out the demo for yourself but this is i like i like this game i'm having fun with it what's michael's story my name's mike mike schmidt the job market's been rough i get it man i get it well for me at least haven't exactly had the best track record especially with my resume being how it is I didn't expect to end up working at a place like this, but the career counselor told me it was, quote, probably the last place in town that would even think about hiring a blasphemous, <laughs> incompetent Neanderthal like you, as he put it. Dude, that's harsh. I'm not really used to night shifts. Part of me wonders if I could just sleep through it but I can't risk getting caught a month in ice as is. Even then, this gig seems odd. Not sure what at this rundown pizza joint is important enough to justify hiring a security guard, but hey, I'm getting paid for it and I need this job. Better keep my eyes peeled regardless. Right, looks like it's almost midnight. Time to get this started. All right, let's see how far we can get. So they're all there. So games. So we're back to Fred Skipper. Hello? hello, hello. Hey, I hope this message finds you well. Now I've got a salvaging job in the morning, and I imagine you got a long night ahead of you. So for the both of our sakes, I'll try to make this brief. First and foremost, your job. I'm sure your manager already went over this, but wouldn't hurt to cover it again. So you, as the night watchman here, have two duties. Keeping intruders out, and keeping all our equipment in here safe. Most notable of which, of course, being our animatronic band. You see the animatronic characters you. here, you may notice they tend to move around at night. Don't fret, it's completely normal. Don't like Even that. animatronics need their exercise. Stops their mechanisms yeah, from walking up when they need to perform in the morning and saves our maintenance crew a lot of hassle. Now, that you. normally wouldn't be an issue for you, but our animatronics... Well, they also have a tendency to wander to parts of the building they aren't supposed to be in, which might also include your office. Because of that, you'll want to keep an eye on them with your cameras, just make sure they aren't straying too far away from their intended areas. Uh, and if one reaches the doorway to your office, mm -hmm. it might be a good idea to close either of those handy mechanical doors. There should be one on both sides of your office. They stop almost any animatronic. Just close them, wait for the thunk, and the animatronic should go right back to their stage. 
Only close them if you absolutely need to, though. The doors drain power, and power isn't something you've got a lot of. And I say almost every animatronic, because there is one that's a little special, though it isn't hard to deal with. Just click that reset music button on the entrance camera every once in a while, and it should leave you be. Now, if you're wondering why a place like this needs heavy-duty mechanical doors, or what all these other tools you have at your disposal are, my answer to both these questions is, don't worry about it. You probably won't need to use them tonight anyway. We just want to make sure our guards are safe and have the means to defend themselves against any threat that comes their way. Mm -hmm. uh, do like, you know, burglars, dandles, those kind of threats. Other than that, the only thing you really have to worry about is your temperature. AC shot, so you have to rely on your fan. Just turn it on every so often, it should cool you right back down. Just don't leave it on for too long, it drains power too. Oh yeah, and while all you should really need tonight are the cameras and doors, feel free to flip through the different systems on your monitor and try out some of the other tools just to get a feel for them too. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. Now, I think that's everything. I'm forgetting about something. No, no, I'm, I'm sure that's... What the... first. They're both, they're both waiting for me. Freddy's out. Where's Freddy at? There's Freddy. Hi, Freddy. Oh, you're coming up too. They're both up there. Hold on, what side is he on? Oh, you're on that side. Is on my left this evening. He's on. There he is. Oh. again. Okay. I'm listening. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Go salvage again. Well, that's one shift down. Now I can. Oh no, ring ring. Great.
<laughs> it's a stupid thing on. Hey, Stooge, get great work tonight or whatever. Good news, your good for nothing coworker isn't picking up his calls, so it looks like you get to work overtime. Overtime? But I wasn't. Bah, quit your whining. You're still getting paid for this, you know. Go to the address I sent you. Some chump will explain the rest when you get there. Good luck or whatever. Hey, hey. Guess I'm working overtime. Hey, we're back to the fun place. Ahem, down here. Hello again. I am the new hire. Yes. You can call me your psychic friend, Fredbear. I'm here to help you on your salvaging duties. Oh, you seem a little confused. Don't worry, I'll explain. I remember this part. Remember this part? Let's just go through this part. Yep. I don't want to be both. No. They're not paying me enough for this. Two animatronics. Bring them back with your... Okay. Don't worry. Should be friendly. Alright. So we'll go get two. Alright. Either way, you might as well get it. Feel free to come back here and talk to me once you're ready to leave. Good luck. Alright. We're gonna go. Let's go find... I walk so fast. This is the... Here's top shelf. Oh, Chica's feet it friendly. Okay. Okay, cool. We'll go get that game again. Um... What are we investigating? A bunch of documents, employee memos are pinned up on the wall. some point during the endoskeleton's line of sight. Okay. I remember that button from last time. Oh, I remember you. I'm not getting you again. Where do we want to go? Which one's this one? Oh, you're... Hello. New animatronic identity set. Please assign value and try again. Yeah. So I need one more. One more until your quota is met. Okay. Is there any more? Freddy. It's that way. Locked. I didn't go into. Hold on, there's gonna be another door that I'm missing somewhere. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, maybe there isn't any other door. Okay. Um. Oh, can I only get those two now? Oh no. Arr, ahoy there, you <laughs> scurvy sea dog. Can tell like, in your eye you're looking for a mate to sail the high seas with, aren't ya? Well, assuming you got the booty, I'd love to join your crew. And that's booty <laughs> as in treasure, you know, so don't get any ideas. So when you say me becoming your first mate, maybe. Is it a yay or is it an A? Fine. You appear in the window at front of your office. Shine your flashlight on him to make him go away. Makes two. Can head out now. But first. Okay, I got my two. Ooh, there's another mask. That's the same mask. Animatronics, he does something clenched. Wait, same mask? 
ill-advised. Do it anyway. Get to the exit quietly. Wonder if they'll see me this time. Can I crouch? Are you coming towards me? No! no! <laughs> Wake up outside. <laughs> Seems the endoskeleton stashed the mask back. As well as $10 from your pocket. Oh, you bastard. Better luck next time. Dang it. Took my money. Took my money. Alright, we'll go as long as I can. How's that? Okay, you're there. Should be. Yep. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, sorry. The guy that called you last night can't quite get back to you. He got into a pretty nasty accident with the office locker. Right? Is the message. Uh, apparently the animatronics filled up with the heaviest stuff they could find. Oh, and things left. Tipped right over onto him. Okay. It's it's still lying there. I think he still may be in it. Actually. I have no idea where they managed to find that many blocks of pure tungsten in it, but. You know Freddy and the gang, they're some real kidders. <laughs> that aside, I heard you make some salvages last night. That's good, that's good. Uh, I don't really know how those ones work, not my jurisdiction. So I guess it's up to you to figure that out. Uh, other than that, we've been noticing some strange new behavior of some of the animatronics. Namely, uh, they really like getting into our vent system. Uh, if you switch the vent setting on your monitor and see one just crawling around up there, it might be a good idea to set an audio alert nearby to pull it away from your office. Now, if one does get into your office, don't worry. Just try throwing on that spare Freddy head for a bit until they go away. Usually fools them pretty easily. That should be it. I'm actually coming up at the end of my shift here. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to recklessly meander my way over towards the exit door. And... Oh, so nice, Freddy. You're still there. Okay. Hold on. What side are you on? You're on that side. Oh. Oh shit. I must forget which one it was. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well. <laughs> I missed it because I was too focused. That's it. That's going to be it. Um, I, I'll come back. I'll come back and play the other two difficulties, but not tonight. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave a link to the other video so you can check out the full night, a link to the game. I am live streaming on Halloween. Uh, Madison, that's the game I'm live streaming, but I might include a FNAF fan game as well. Maybe I'll play more of this one or a different one. If you recommend one for me, I'll check it out and then maybe add it to my live stream. So come back for more videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button, hit subscribe, come back for more videos. Happy gaming.